Well, today is a bit of a special day. Um, Quinnergy is five years old today. Um, can't believe it. Don't really know where the time has went. Um, super proud of what we've all achieved and where we are now. Five years ago today was a total different story. Um, not going really to go into too much detail on it, but <clears throat> five years ago um, I was going through a separation. Uh, I was leaving the family home. Um, not going to say I was poor or anything like that, but I was going in and out of places to live. I was staying with my mum and dad, staying with friends, then managed to get a wee flat. Um, but at the same time, decided to to give it a go at going out on my own and trying to achieve something for my family and Quinn and stuff like that. So, decided to reach out to my mum um, and she offered me a thousand pounds. She took a thousand pound loan out of the credit union and I went and bought a rusty old van. I bought a 52 plate, I think it was, a 53 plate Merc Vito van with 160,000 miles on the clock. It was very rusty, um, but it got me out there. Bought that for 750 quid. Then spent a couple of hundred pound uh, getting a website, done other wee bits and bobs, and went out there. Started doing stuff for letting agents, uh, doing all that stuff. Straight away I realised um, that I, I kind of struggled with the admin. Um, I'm quite proud to say it, but I do struggle with Asperger's and uh, I've got dyslexia, so it was a big thing at school. I, I really, really struggled um, reading and writing. and um, I can do it, but it just gives me a lot of anxiety. And um, So I realised that I need to get an admin person, so... Uh, Lucky enough, Amy was working for a lighting agent and she wanted some kind of part-time hours because she, she had a child going to school and we brought on Amy and from there it catapulted. She dealt with the admin on an, a, a professional level, um, made me go out, work. I was doing 16 hours a day, 20 hours a day, seven days a week, working at nights, doing call-outs, just basically doing everything I could um, well, Amy ran the kind of office side of it. Um, started to grow. Year one, we done all right. Uh, had enough to pay each other a wage, and we managed to upgrade our van to a brand new Ford Transit, courtesy of my my brother-in-law, who managed to do me a deal with uh, a lease on that, and we just kept growing from there. Um, very difficult, had no funding, we had to use cash flow to do it. You don't really realise what cash flow is till till you're in it. Um, yeah, so a lot of learning curves through that. Uh, and then I uh, started doing more work for lighting agents and lucky enough I found the kind of love of my life, which is Sarah. Um, and Sarah gave me the focus to push even more with life and with with a company. So we did that. We brought on Ross because we started to scale up a wee bit and then Ross brought it to a new dimension. Um, he was very focused. Same with myself. We had a goal of building a brand, building a company, keeping true to our core which was landlord compliance and safety certificates. We kept that to our core and we, we never kind of ventured off to any new fancy install work or anything like that. So yeah, we kept doing that. Um, and then it, it got a bit tough for me to be honest. A lot of money in, a lot of money out, dealing with clients, dealing with life, um, not being able to see my son every day. Just just it's very hard for somebody with Asperger's just to cope to change quite a lot. So I, I, I took a wee downward spiral, took a bit of depression, um, and to be honest, didn't really actually want to be here anymore. Um, so I reached out again to Sarah. I kinda, after a few months of feeling like this or a few weeks don't really know actually I just merged into one I reached out to Sarah and my sister and spoke to them telling them how I was feeling and that I didn't want to kind of be here and they again stood by me showed me what my worth was showed me what the worth was in the world to be here for Quinn to be there for them and with Sarah's guidance and my sister and my brother-in-law and that they, they managed to get me into a second gear and from then, I really just pushed 
with the company and life to be honest started to go after things that, in, that I enjoyed um, started to work really not I'm not going to say hard but much more efficient had much more focus um, and we started to really really build the brand um, that was my, my key thing for the for these five years was to build a, a big brand that was a trustworthy um, I don't know what to say, trustworthy partner in the compliance world for letting agents and housing associations and I think that's what we've achieved. We've uh, grown year on year, 60, 70 grand in the first year to about 180, 200 in the second year to five, 600 to just over a million now and it, it's not about the numbers because I've not really made that much more money personally but we're now, we've now brought in, we've got over 30 staff now which I feel like working here, they don't treat it as a job, but it's more of a family now than a company, um, and we all do well from it. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's been involved, um, especially my family, to Sarah, to Quinn and Ellie, um, for like keeping it going, for, for giving me a purpose and why we're doing this, and to all my clients, we've had really, really good clients from the start that have stayed with us, that have supported us through the thick and thin uh, we've supported them and to new clients and most importantly to all the workers all the employees everybody that's associated with quinergy um so yeah a happy fifth birthday and let's hope there's more to come um thanks for following us and uh, hopefully we'll see you all soon cheers bye bye